E aí pessoal, aqui que fala é o Felipe Badivir aqui com você nesse vídeo aqui, galera, começando com o... Ia dizendo Dragon Ball Z. <risos> começando, com... começando com o Max Payne 3 de novo no terceiro episódio. Então vamos nessa, galera. Vamos lá. Exatamente onde a gente parou. <risos> Como de primeira, mas foi. Ah, mas... Hey, you fucking dead! Ah. Tá com esse meio aí. Shhh, my boy. Don't be afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. The joys of hygiene! Come to me, you sinners, you evil men. You were born in filth and squalor, but today you will be cleansed. Cleansed in fire! Não, não, não! Cara, era um homem bomba, véi. Como assim? It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that. But I got to thinking. It was what he was waiting for. A chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. Nossa, a gente inicia daqui, sério? Seeing Brewer go out like that, but I got to thinking it was what he was waiting for a chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. The apartment made me wish I'd got to know him better. Looked like he was keeping an eye on me. Must have thought we were kindred spirits. More and more, I think he was right. I didn't have a fancy green light on my gun. Just a stubborn desire to stop those thugs from having their way. I hadn't wanted to live so bad in years. Sério, é um cara tão fácil assim de eliminar os caras? Tá, como é? Tem que mudar aqui, será? Meu Deus, eu. Rent was gonna have to be lowered in the building. That was something the tenants committee could thank me for. Ok. 
pad to cut the ice, eh? Fire over Hoboken. Felt strange to be at the center of it again. Target, that is. Like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. Coming into Newark Airport. Get right up. We're gonna get this prick. Ugh. Come on, I wanna hear some motivation. Let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? I heard something. Kind of up there! Up where? Up there! What you bitching? <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> no, there he is! Shoot him! God damn it! Elevate yeah, slow down. Elevate yeah, slow down. Come on, come on. Slow down. You need some help there, brother? I needed his help five minutes ago. You we were doing fine. Yeah, well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like they might be a way down through the wreck up here. There were wrecks all around. And not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid. And they're always one step ahead. They don't need to second guess us when they're covering all the. Ooh, it's 
eu não sabia que não podia matar aquele cara, mano. Foi sem querer, velho. There were wrecks all around. E não o tipo que você up para um weekend project. Estes eram os wrecks que você the para to avoid. Ih, perdeu a mão, They don't need to second guess us when they're covering all the angles. Ah, é pra gente pular, né? Meu Deus, Meu filho, calma aí, pô. Oxe, eu tô procurando o bagulho. Aqui, ó. Peguei o bagulho. Aqui, ó. Armas douradas, filho. Pronto. I don't wanna die here. Eu também não. Você fica na minha frente, né? Obrigado. Come on. Pô, é muita ação, velho. Eu não sei, mano. These chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop and me clocked it months ago, but the deadbeat and me didn't give a shit. Aí foi sem lógica, sem lógica é tal. Não que o jogo tenha lógica, né? Porque você faz isso para deixar o cara mais rápido. Show the blood so much. Hidden away for a rainy day. How's this look? Okay.
mais rápido aos comandos, velho. Eu tô lento demais. these parts let's just get over there yeah I think you need a hand no do you let's go amigo Bora. you like that <laughs> should be a bit quieter in here yeah it's nice Yeah, I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens. You want a job yet, Max? So here we were, miles up the Tiete River. Looking for what we did not know. Max, you listening? Max, so like I was saying, I think they're a group called the Crachapret. Why did you tell me they were called the CS? They are. I mean, Fabiana. She was kidnapped by the CS. The guys that crashed our little party at the stadium, they were a group of paramilitaries. You'll have to forgive me for not being able to follow all this. I'm not supposed to follow it. The government can't even follow it. It ensures that no one's ever guilty. So why'd they do it? Bust us at the stadium. Yeah, somebody told them we were gonna be there with a whole lot of money. Anyway, the money's gone. I just hope we can get the girl back. Yeah, me too. I wonder where the hell she is. You know there's a harbor about a half a mile up? It's gotta be there. This is a known Comando Sombra area. You know, if I'd been doing my job properly, we wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere looking for some broad who got pinched on my watch. That's what we tell ourselves, huh? It's all our fault. No, I'm serious. By the time they grabbed the girls, I was half cut. I ain't slipping, man. I'm slipped. I'm a bad joke. Max, we work private security. We're all ex-soldiers, ex-special forces, ex-cops, ex-good guys. We all have our reasons why we became ex. Maybe now we can put things right, okay? So that was it, was it? Say the magic word and be absolved of your sins. If only shit were that simple, I'd have done it years ago. Me, I'd been stuck in the past so long, I'd forgotten what year it was. Hey, Max, quit your daydreaming. This is it. It's over there. I'm gonna cut the engine. Right in. Don't go anywhere. Here I was, some hopped-up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. 
As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect. I had no idea what lay ahead, and as much as part of me would rather be anywhere else, I knew this was where I had to be. I felt responsible. I just had to fix the situation right here. I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiana was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. signs of life, rubbing them out as I went along. I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at least alive, if not exactly well. Her captors didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. I didn't want to think about what would be happening on that video feed now. Just my own imminent cameo. I had to keep moving. I hoped that I'd find Fabiana sooner than later, if at all. Pega 
É aqui, será? Não. Aqui, aqui, ó. That was the chair that she had been held in. I had just missed them. Mano, como é que o Max não fica frustrado, né, velho? Mas deve ficar, porque ele não quer demonstrar, velho. Para de chorar! Para de chorar, sua frita! Porra! Cala a boca! Ninguém pode te ouvir, caralho! Sua burguesinha safada! There she was, right in front of me. The drunk fool in me wanted to make a play. But I had just about enough sense to know that I'd end up with another dead girl in my arms if I did. It seems Serrano's boys had targeted the entire Bronco family and didn't give a shit which one they pinched. Serrano had taken Fabiana through the garage door. I had to find a way to open it. circle of this low rent hell. To them. These were the floor plans to the nightclub. Seemed Mr. Serrano liked to be prepared. Proper little boy scout. on the catwalk if I went back into the other room.
cara me deu um tiro na cabeça, filho. Não fiquei nem surpreso porque eu morri. Quebra ele, mano. Quebra ele, porra. Ai, cara, 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 cara. Fabiana in a worrying amount of time, but at least I wasn't following a trail of her fingers. on going across the docks. There they were. I had the feeling I'd been running one step behind ever since I got to this country. And maybe a few years before that as well. Parceiro, você tá tentando acabar só com a máfia, só com a parte da máfia de São Paulo. Porque se for inteiro, ah, meu parceiro, tu pode ter certeza que no mesmo caminho tu vai achar o cara que você que tu vai achar o cara que você achava digno de meter uma bala na tua cara. Literalmente. Ah, como é que você vai se encontrar aí?
negócio dele. Toda vez que a gente chegar perto, essa mulher tá sendo sequestrada desse jogo, velho. Mas agora vai, né? Agora vai. Por favor, Max, por favor, velho. Confident jump of going into the jungle alone. Oh, shit, more company! Oh, oh. How's she look, man? My gun's beat up, broken, my heart. I don't know what to say. Hang in there, baby. You can do it.
sure they missed us. I got an idea. Hold on. Fabiana had slipped through my fingers for a second time. Another habit I didn't want or need. It's close. We almost had her. Damn. I don't think we ever had much of a chance. No one told us they had an entire goddamn army. I don't think anybody knew. Crazy shit. Yeah. It's all crazy, pal. Non-stop insanity. Thought I left all this shit behind. Easy gig, you said. What a fool I was to get involved in this madness.
bebendo, só que não tá na casa de rico, mas bebendo, pensando na vida, contrariado, decepcionado, depressão. É... Tá triste, amigão. Get up, bro. Max, wake up, Max. Come on. Get up, you big bastard. Come on. I'm up. Yeah? You don't look up. Just give me a second, will you? Really not feeling too good. <clears throat> hey, Max, what is it with you in interior design? Huh? You, you really know how to give a place a great lived-in feel, huh? This is beautiful. <laughs> fuck off with the fucking wisecracks. Really. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Hey, sorry, bro. The boss wants to see us, so let's go. Come on. Ah, nessa parte eu não tanquei não, velho. Ah, pelo amor de Deus, é na moral. Take your time, man. Essa, ô, velho, vai mal bater no microfone, galera. Desculpa, perdão. Jesus. Ô, nessa parte eu não tanquei não. Capítulo 6. Uma dama, um patrão. Oh, give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bom dia. Bom dia. Eles estão aí? O que, que o senhor acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, Tudo bem. Não? Ah. You fucking pair of clowns! I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save... I... I... I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy? Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot! This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating and embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. Por que ele, o cara, né? É porque acho que é Rodrigo Branco o nome dele. É porque eu não sei se é ele mesmo ou se é outro cara, mas acho que é Rodrigo Branco. Por que ele, ele não pega, mistura as forças armadas do Sr. Becker junto com a gente, pra gente ter um exército, entendeu? Só que a polícia, no caso aqui seria o exército de nós, ia ficar sob nosso comando. Era só o Becker pegar, era só o Rodrigo Branco pegar e dizer assim: Becker, pega e bota o seu exército junto com esses dois aí, com o Max e com, e com o cara aí. Pra, 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 é, pra eles fazerem companhia à polícia. Só que vai ter uma condição. Max e o cara vai estar tá dando ordem nos seus homens pra vocês irem fazer. para vocês fazerem a missão. Seria uma boa ideia. Mas que não tá acontecendo no jogo, obviamente. Não é uma boa ideia. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you, but things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, passos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senhor? Let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, Senhor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Até logo, Sr. Branco. Deixa cair a ideia que eu tive. I had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money. Now my wife. I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool, just like the rest of my friends. Com licença. Tem uma ligação pro senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? 
Look at me. I'm a mess. What's that going to sound? Who deals? Si, pode entrar. Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that. We got men entering the building, and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars, and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. All I got was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk. Now, both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Max! Max! Yeah, it's safe. Come on. We need to get you to the server room. Let's go. Por que não posso ficar aqui com você debaixo da mesa? Let's go. Come on. Okay. I'm coming. Come on. The real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. Bom, galera, esse foi o episódio. Eu espero que vocês tenham gostado. Se vocês gostaram, se inscrevam no canal se vocês não forem inscritos. É isso, galera. Falou, fui e tchau. Até o próximo episódio. Compartilhem o vídeo, se inscrevam e fiquem com Deus.